Hi, it's Caroline from Bark, and today we're going to walk through how to set up Google Family Link. The first step you'll want to take is to create a Gmail account for your child. If your child already has a Gmail account, feel free to skip to the next section. From the Google homepage, click Gmail, then click Create Account. Next, enter in your child's first and last name, create a username, and a password, and click Next. Then Google will ask you for some additional information such as your child's birthday and gender. Because your child is under the age of 13, Google will prompt you to link their email account to your account. Next, Google will walk you through the process of creating a Family Link account. Verify that your child's information is correct, as well as review the parental consent information and click Next. Now you're ready to set up Google Family Link on your child's Android device. Download Google Family Link from the Google Play Store and launch the app. After your child signs in, Google will prompt them to hand the device to you so that you can continue the setup. Sign in using your email address and password, review the privacy terms and conditions, and click I agree. Next, Google will prompt you to install Google Family Link Manager to complete setup. Next, Google will display all the apps installed on your child's device. If you would like to do so, you may turn them off at this time. Finally, to complete setup, follow the prompts to activate Profile Manager, review Google's terms and conditions, and click Accept. Now the devices are connected and you can begin setting up the parental controls. To set up Google Family Link on your own device, simply install it from the App Store, launch the app, and sign in. Google Family Link gives you the ability to check the location of your child's device. On the main screen of the app, scroll down to Location and click Setup. Please note that the location of your child's device may take a few hours to show up in the app. To set up time limits for your child to use their device, scroll down to Screen Time and click Setup. From here, you can choose how much time your child is allowed to spend on their device each day. You have the ability to make these settings consistent across weekdays and weekends. You also have the ability to force the child's device to turn off at night in order for them to get sleep. Again, you have the ability to make these settings consistent across school nights and weekend nights. To manage or block apps, click Manage Settings, and then click Android Apps. You will then see a list of all the apps installed on your child's device, and you are able to click into the app and block it. To unblock the app, Simply click into the Blocked Apps tab, click the app that you would like to unblock, and toggle the green button. To control the kind of content your child can view and download in the Google Play Store, click Manage Settings, then click Controls on Google Play. Now you can choose whether or not your child must request approval to download apps and games, movies, TV shows, books, and music. You may also choose what kind of content is appropriate for your child based on their age. This will ensure that your child cannot access mature material when searching through the Google Play Store. To prevent your child from making changes to the parental control settings you've put in place, scroll to the bottom of the screen, find your child's device, and click Settings. There are several parental control settings that you can ensure you are the only one that can make updates to. Choose one of the settings and then click Only Parents to ensure that you are the only one that can make changes to these settings. To protect your child while they are surfing the internet, click Manage Settings on the main screen. Next, click Filters on Google Chrome. You may also add sites that your child is approved to visit as well as sites that you would like to block. From here, you may ask Google to try to block mature content 
as well as manage what sites your child can visit. In addition to setting parental controls on your child's device, the next safety layer parents should strongly consider is a monitoring solution to assess the content their kids encounter and produce online. By monitoring text messages, YouTube, emails, and more than 24 different social networks for potential safety concerns such as cyberbullying, self-harm, violence, sexual predators, and more, Bark allows busy parents to rest easier knowing that their kids are better protected from digital dangers. To learn more or sign up, visit bark.us.